What's up everyone, today we are making the short review of this MacBook Pro 2021 16-inch M1. Actually, this is a very, very nice notebook. And in my opinion, this is for professionals and for people who are working with these uh, very, very uh, heavy softwares in terms of uh, minimum configurations. It is uh, incredibly, incredibly strong and incredibly fast and it is a heavy duty device and it can handle a lot of very, very big apps, very big softwares and programs that you need for your uh, rendering, coding and uh, other jobs that, that require very strong computers. First, let's start with what we have here on this MacBook Pro. On the right side, we have this memory card reader, um, micro SD with this uh, bigger adapter here. This is the Type C port here and the HDMI port. On the left side of the MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 2021, here you have this charging MagSafe port and again two Type-C USBs and 3.5 millimeter jack for headphones. On this upper side here you have the Apple logo. It is not LED backlight anymore. It is now like mirror-like and it is not actually the, the old-fashioned way that MacBook had these lighting logos. Let's see what we got inside here. You can see it immediately puts up from the sleep mode. On this side here, actually on the MacBook, we have this touch bar that is very, very big touch bar. It is unusually big for the notebooks from the lab for the laptops it is unusually big uh, this touchpad for me it is very very nice i really like it it is easier to use the bigger touchpad than the small touchpads that you have here for example like these touchpads and you have you don't have any space for manipulating with pointer on this one you have a lot of space a lot of um, a lot of uh, uh, way for the pointer to go through the apps through the desktop and other options here we have the camera um, camera and it's a small notch here something like in iphones the small camera is in the middle and other sensors here next to the keyboard on the both sides you have speakers speakers are incredibly loud here and the bus is incredible i was very surprised when i heard how it sounds actually this is a uh, keyboard is not international on this version so this is the standard keyboard that you got here only these symbols here are different here is the function keys and you don't have numeric keyboard those are this control, option, command, spacebar, enter, and these very important things that you have here. Actually, for me, the con is that it doesn't have the Mary keyboard, but it is only actually that you get used to the Mary keyboard and you need it. But you get used to this one here for this standard numbers row. Here we have the big 16 inch uh, display. It is the retina display and it is everything that we say additional for retina is uh, something that you already know. The retina displays in Apple devices are incredible. Retina displays, the quality of these displays and the resolution, it is incredible. And for me, it is the, the best resolution that you can have on the laptop. For example, when you're watching the movies and watching uh, YouTube or something that you watch usually, uh, resolution 
it's very nice uh, the experience when you're watching something here with these uh, huge speakers here it gives unusual experience and very nice experience regarding the design design is very very nice this is the space gray version you have this uh, other colors this is space gray and for me it is completely okay but actually i like more this we're uh, talking to this uh, m1 m1 chip it's incredibly fast you will see in this short review now uh, m1 chip you cannot hear anything from the device any vibration anything when you are starting apps very very heavy apps you will see uh, the apps like photoshop and other apps they are opening immediately which is miracle uh, comparing to other devices you can see here we will start with this app store it wasn't open before it was completely closed you can see it, it now again we will open app store again opening immediately on launchpad we have these programs we have the standard apple apps those are uh, let's see safari and the apple web page immediately you can see how smooth it is you are scrolling through this touchpad you have here on the touchpad you have these gestures but actually i don't know a lot of that because i need to search and explore a little bit of it and you have this classic app labs here standard app labs built-in apps and uh, actually other apps like xcode let's run the xcode so you will see the performance of this macbook pro let's start you can see the xcode and other apps that we are launching are not launched previously and they are not <coughs> you will see now it is very fast opening xcode our quit xcode and let's check this adobe photoshop 2022 this is incredible this is incredible because you know how how heavy is to open photoshop actually rendering and other things it is uh, sufficient to speak about that because when we are talking about the performance of this uh, macbook pro it is everything we say is um, sufficient here because m1 speaks for itself the speed of m1 and the speed that you saw here opening apps and um, how it is uh, very fast and without any lagging it is incredible thing from the apple and apple made the great job here introducing the m1 chips actually we don't, we don't have to open these uh, built-in apps because they are very light apps so when we are opening these heavy apps like photoshop when we are when you if you are working with photoshop for you this is the very very great choice if you are looking for something uh, better you have other m1 chips that are uh, stronger than this one but actually this one is completely okay and completely right for you and suitable for you if you are working with uh, renders photoshop um, coding and so the xcode we will run it again so you will see the one more time how fast xcode is launched here on this macbook pro it is incredibly fast xcode is very very heavy program and you don't feel anything here like in other devices that something is knocking inside or it is uh or cooling uh, the fan uh, there is no sound here actually it is the same when it's turned off and it's very very uh, incredible how fast silent and cold is device it is not heating up 
uh, also when we're using these heavy apps, it's not heating up. So you can see the how fast it is. For example, um, Photoshop, I use it very often and it's not heating up device. Actually, when you are uh, opening more, uh, more photos, working on the more tabs at the same time in Photoshop, no difference. It is uh, like you are working in only one photo. So regarding this device, it is very, very good choice for you if you are working with these uh, heavy programs, if you are working with these uh, renders, this is the very nice laptop for you. MacBook Pro 2021 16 inch. It is a very nice in terms of the size and display when you are working something that is a resolution sensitive and you need this uh, bigger, bigger display here actually for coding it is very nice it is tested for uh, more than half year for coding and there is no mistake there is no uh, lagging there is no overheating or the issues like that when you when you're using these coding softwares this one is a very very durable and it's a heavy duty device it can last long as every Apple device actually in next videos we will make the review of iPad 2 that is a uh, iPad 2 is very old device but it works uh, but it works also today so we will make how it is uh, for Apple their their devices are durable and when you are paying for something uh, this amount of money that you pay for this MacBook Pro you know that you are not going to throw that money. You are going to pay for something that will last long for you and give its best for you for that money. So you have the best performance, best chip here, best display here, the sound is very good, uh, random access memory is very good and you don't have any issues for your work. So it's very important when you are buying some devices and buying some laptops for your work and for your daily job if you are uh, the person who is uh, coding or the person who is uh, uh, doing the graphic design on a daily basis this device is for you and i know that you are not regret buying this device because you will be very satisfied how fast it is and the battery let's say something about the battery battery is uh, very uh, very long lasting uh, i was very surprised because uh, a lot of notebooks a lot of laptops they don't have battery that lasts actually more than two or three hours when you're doing these uh, let's say heavy jobs and using these heavy apps on them but on this one you can code you can do photoshop you can render only on battery it is uh, I proved that uh, to myself on this device using this device for uh, coding for coding for three or four hours without charging it it is very incredible using Visual Studio using this uh, app here Visual Studio code uh, on only on battery for three to four hours it is incredible so you know when you're buying this one you will not regret you will not make mistake so if you have budget for this device if you have um, if you have a planned budget for this device and the working uh, very uh, very uh, er, jobs that are device sensitive let's say that for example like graphic design coding rendering architectural apps you can choose this one and let's say again, this is the MacBook Pro 2021 16 inch M1 processor. Thank you for watching. I hope that this review helped you. It is not in-depth review and it's not very, very broad review of device. This is actually only brief review, short review of this device in terms you don't have time to, to watch everything now, every option, every 
a recorder of this device it has a lot of options a lot of functions but we only made short review of this device and i hope that this helped you in your choice and choosing this device for you but of course you you're buying devices that are suitable for you and if you are a fan of windows pc or the mac pc so you make decision and thank you one once more for watching this see you bye